Solutions for the self-employed. Three-quarter time here at Eddie Hatt Stadium and a tight one. The Bombers by seven points, 13-8-86, leading North Melbourne, 12 7 79. Let's get some stats. Bosch tool stats, Ash. Benny Brown, number one ranked player. Ten disposals, six marks, nine score involvements, and four majors. Let's get around the grounds near map aerial imagery. We've got Melbourne leading Port by 24 points halfway into the third quarter. Triple M C Bus Super special comments. Award winning super for the building and construction industries. How'd you see this, Brownie? Well, the Bombers were definitely better in that quarter, and they kicked those three goals in a row. And we thought that the Bombers were going to run away with it, but Sean Higgins got Kangaroos back in the game, and now uh, the the Bombers just continually turn the footy over, which I haven't seen them do for a while, Duck. Um, and they've just allowed the Kangaroos to stay in this game. You've got to be really impressed, Jim, with the young Kangaroos players. How young their list is today. To do what they're doing against a pretty solid outfit has been remarkable. Just a shootout, this is. Yep. Whoever executes their skills best will win the game. Just saw in the Chemist Warehouse replay screen, Brad Scott. Direct communication with Magic Door on the bench. And he... Uh, Very he, direct. In no uncertain terms, hearing... And I reckon three times Bristol in that quarter, Bell Chambers just threw him out of the way and took yep. clean possession in the ruck, and that's what it'll be about. And that's what Duck spoke about early. Bob Jane, T. Martinez. Have you got me, BT? Yes. Yeah, we got you. Uh, got you Andrew up. Swallow just on the bench at the moment, still not incredibly happy with his hip after that huge hit from Joe Watson. But other than that, they're pretty good hell for both teams at the moment. The man they call Suva, Nick Larkey, is on the bench, but his knee is OK. He's just starting on the bench. Bob Jones, team March, best tyre price guaranteed. JB, Bombers to start the last quarter, yep. lead by seven points. They do. Big 30 minutes for them, especially with uh, finals looming, if they can execute well in this last month. Ball bounces into the hands of the Aras. Took on a couple of tacklers, and that's a free kick. He's going to go North Melbourne's way. Advantage taken. Handball forward to Garner, who's been good on the wing. Retreats back by foot. And he finds Sam Durden. He's called to go. No one comes at him, so he can just drill a low one for Wait, who ran under the footy. And a good defensive mark taken by Hartley. So the Bombers after this. If they win this one, it'll be their ninth win. So they'll have five games to find, say, three more wins to guarantee them a spot in the eight. So it's of utmost importance for them. Danaher leads out off the kick of Heppel and Mark Strongly. 45. Umpire umpire says go. He doesn't know. Sold the hand candy. Come back. Jammed at home, but missed. Good four. And a minor score. So must have been, been touched, touched off the boot yeah. downfield. Had to have been bristle. I would say four because touched, he didn't know. Touched in front of him. Touched in front of him. Jeez. Jeez, that's oh, rough. That's a mark. That is absolute nonsense. If that's the case, if that was in the marking contest, yeah, you pay that every day, yeah. even though technically yeah. it was a fingertip yeah. there. Yeah, Good call, Brian. Couldn't agree with you anymore, Bristol. Mullet, long and wide from the kick in. Good mark. Hartley again. Second one in a minute. He'll, they'll re-enter here, the Bombers. High ball forward. Thompson folding off. Hooker just able to take a simple mark. Way too easy in the end in the air, and Hooker surely cannot miss. I'd be running past for the handball, Jim. 15 out directly in front. There were two kangaroo players there, and uh, they just, uh, well, yeah. Cunnington, the only one it. who flew. Oh, no, that's the Hartley, mate. Yeah. 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 That's a poor defensive work in the air, and surely the Bombers will get the first goal of this, the final term. Hooker has slammed it home. So, Hooker's got his second, and the Bombers. Just a little room here. 79-93 they lead. Triple M Red Z lending scoreboard. Yeah, he's a great swingman hooker. He's a, a barometer of this side, Duck. When he's up and about and he's taking marks and kicking goals, he's good. But they've got the luxury to put him back in the back end as well. Poor start to this last quarter by the Kangaroos. Yeah, he's got, he has got a good set of hands. Hartley's a uh, couple of marks, JB, you said in the call. They were very good. 14-point margin. It is a little mini break here. And they are in desperate need to win this, the Bombers. That will give them nine wins. It is going to be tight anyway for them getting in. They can't afford to let games slip like this that they should win. Back in the middle. Now, Lee Fisher has gone back in the middle mm. to bounce. Why keep embarrassing the poor guy? Yep. So why not get Troy Pinnell? Troy, you're standing there doing nothing. You go in and throw it up. Goodness <laughs> me. Merritt out of the middle, runs onto his wrong right side. Still a good penetrating ball to Stewart, who made good ground to mark down low on the slide. 
So Stuart James, son of Craig, former Collingwood and Richmond player, Danaher flew a mile too early and infringed and gave away the free in the last line of defence. Scotty Thompson will take the ball. You just have all day sensed that 10 of Essendon's best minutes is going to be enough. Is it coming? Wide ball for Brown. Again, Hartley gets involved, couldn't take it. Hurley's been quiet. Left foot inside, 50 ball from him. Beautiful. Hooker takes another uncontested mark. Just floated, didn't it? Yeah. Just kept going and got everyone over the pack, and it was a lucky one for Hooker. Well, Nielsen, Nielsen's been pushing and shoving the whole time, and then when the ball came in, he was nowhere near him. To make it three in a row. Joey yeah. Danaher is having a chat to uh, Scotty Thompson as well. To make it tough. This will make it a 20-point lead for the Bombers. Set shot from Carl Hooker. Not always what he does best. And the kick is there. He loves it. Got three. Big start to this final turn for the Bombers. Hooker with two. 20 points the margin. Just the last couple of shots with Hooker. You notice he's really sort of running in with, yeah. it, with yeah. a little bit of speed and kicking right through the footy. It's worked for him the last two shots, so maybe that's what he should do all the time. Yeah, he has. He's looked to deliberately run through with speed. Yeah, with speed, which is... And he's been running straight at the man on the mark after the he kicks it too. Yeah, yeah young Nielsen. Has. Nielsen in his uh, third game of footy. Uh, there's a bit of, been a bit of push and shove there. Near Matt Barrel imagery, uh, Ash, as uh, Troy Pennell's gone in the middle to bounce. Yeah, Demons by 30 points over Port Adelaide deep into the third quarter. Pennell, no problems. Bang, straight up mm. in the air. It just makes common sense to get that man in there. He's a good bouncer. He's got out off the back of the centre circle. A hawking left foot ball with great penetration. Big fly over the top there. Spills down to Clark. Clark handball. Cool as a cucumber. Got it out the back to Gibson. He chisels one up the middle and finds Dumont. Trent Dumont. Sideways for Luke McDonald. Must respond here, North Melbourne. Zerha was open. Still is. Luke McDonald doesn't want to go there. Instead, he holds the kick and gets it to Gibson. Gibson wants to go to Zerha. McKenna closes on him. That's a nice pair of hands. He's at half forward, too far out to score, the young man. He's got weight, one out. Instead of that, he gives a handball to Clark. Back to Zerha, needs to release. It's an outside of the boot. Mung. Brown! Good. Nice big climb. And he'll go back and take a shot on his fifth. This is as good a contested mark as you'll see. Danaher at the other end is doing it all day. Hooker, but that in a genuine pack mark, three or four around him, got some elevation. Still had to take the mark as the ball was travelling and he was travelling the other way. Has emerged, Duck, as a genuine star of the game, this bloke, I reckon. Yeah, he's a monster, isn't he? This is going to be, if he kicks it, his fifth. And he is right there in the Coleman race, playing for the 17th ranked team in the comp. Benny Brown, the boy from Tassie. We've got a good look at this right behind him. Runs straight at the target for number five. And it's right through the guts. Well done. Very much needed goal too for the Kangas. 13-7-91 to 15-9. Sorry, let me say that again. 13-7-85 to 15-9-99. Bombers still holding sway. Triple M Red Z lending score. Well, just uh, an update on that Coleman. You know, uh, Buddy Franklin leading on 47. We've got Brown on 46, Danaher on 46, equal second. Mm, that's tight, Duck. Obviously, buddy, uh, a game in hand. And uh, only, there's only one Coleman winner a year. <laughs> <laughs> there's 18 best and fairest. They're easy to get. <laughs> there's 22 All-Australians. But there's only one Coleman, JB. <laughs> I hear you, Bristol. Uh, 1986. Yeah, back in the middle here. Here we go. Great flair to have a ping at bouncing the ball. No problems for him either. What is going on? Bell Chambers, pretty even ruck contest. Picked up in the end by the Kangaroos. Swallow had a bit of a swipe at it. No success here. Now Thompson's got it all to do. G. Collier went hard at the ball. That was the well done by JB. Like the way he went about it. Now Zaha Rakas fighting for the ball at ground level. Mullet was in there trying to pluck it out the back door. No success. Ball up half forward for the Bombers here. Just inside the centre square. 1986, the 100 goals for Bristol for Collingwood and uh, how those last couple came his way, very interesting. Yeah. That's the story I want to hear one day as uh, this one <laughs> into the hands of the first gamer in Josh Williams. Just come to a sheets function <laughs> and you'll... Uh... <laughs> it's going to be thrown in the air again, half forward. Wait now in the ruck. Bell Chambers slapped it back. Williams 
unable to get it. Goddard was. High ball forward. Hooker on fire. Nielsen with him. Back of the fist. Gibson. Nielsen came through well. But he's taken in a ripping tackle. Released it to Watson. Watson an underground job. Zaharakis unable to be clean. Took it out of play. Going to be thrown in 55 from home. Let's go around the grounds. Near map. Aerial imagery. Ash. Demons by 29 points over Port Adelaide. 23 into the third quarter. Something wrong with Wingard there, Ash? Me? Uh, I'm come, told. Come back to you very shortly, yes. BT. I know you told me that uh, and you want to get the correct thing, but it is a bit of a knee issue. We'll find out what it is. Free kick, grab of the arm here. We'll go to Big Bell Chambers. Now he's 55 metres out for goal. Too far. Too far, says Duck. 14-point margin, it is. Bell Chambers, long ball. Gee, got to sit on this. And that mark has been taken and paid to Hooker. Yeah, it was a good mark. He did his body work really early. The ball was still in the air, travelling, and he made contact with his opponent, put him off balance, and then went up for the second grab. Now, if you're here at the ground and you're listening to Triple M football, this is what the boys are talking about in the back row here. He'll go back and he'll get plenty of momentum after he kicks the ball. He continues with the momentum. It's a, it's a sort of a, it's a bit above a jog, isn't it? Yep. Sort of really, really running straight with a bit of speed and then kicking through it. So Hooker, who has kicked three. Two in this quarter. Make it three. And he rubs the head of his opponent, Nielsen, as well. So he has kicked four goals, three of which are in the last quarter to give the Bombers a nice lead. Have a listen to the umpire. Hooker. Leave it alone, OK? Hooker and Pennell there. We might jump out of that now, but just uh, warning him not to go up and rub his head after he's kicked the goal. 16-9-105 to North, 13-7-85 on the Red Z Lenning scoreboard. You yeah. understand if it was a player who's probably played 100 games, Duck, but uh, the young the young, killer, uh, young fella's only played a handful of games. Young Nielsen. Uh, the effect of the absence of Tarrant being felt, no doubt about it, Premier Defender in the North Melbourne team and one of the competition's Premier Defenders came out late. And they're being stretched now. Hooker's done very well at the start of this term. Another entry here. Laverde bashed out of a couple of tackles. That's holding the ball. Not paid. And a push in the back will be paid. So either way, North will end up with a footy. Got a hold now. Bombers starting to stretch away. 20 points again. They've been impressive in this final term. Essendon short. Jamont gets it to Gibson. North have got to continue. I reckon Brownie with the dare. Got to take the game on. Not going to win it playing conservatively. Nielsen. Off the instep. This is a dangerous ball. Zaharakis chops it out. Zaharakis to stick it inside 50. Sees Danaher in the pocket. And he takes the mark. Stewart, I think. Uh, Stewart, you're right, Bristol. So this young man, Stewart, has it in the pocket. And a banana needed. But if he kicks this, it's 26 points. Uh, and that's a long way back. Hasn't had a lot of the footy, but... This will be his third goal if he kicks it. So that's all he needs to do. Two to three goals a week. Present an opportunity. Allow Danaher one-on-one -on -one time. Stewart, the banana is no good. Misses to the far side. So 21 points. And we have played 11 and a half minutes in this final term. Near map, aerial imagery, Ash. Melbourne by 23 points over Port Adelaide. Deep into the third quarter. And that's what he gives you, Brownie. He, he, he sort of teases you a little. But I think more of his game will come... As he gets a little older, has not played a lot of senior footy, James Stewart. Just 27 games so far. How old is he, Brian? He would have to be 21, 22, somewhere about that. Yeah, 23. Well, he looks 23. dangerous. He gets into dangerous positions. Yep. And you have to pay attention to players who do that, which allows Danaher to get one-on-one -on -one time, which allows Hooker to be on his own more often. Physical is not his nature. I reckon he needs to be more competitive for the competitive ball. I think he gets the loose one okay. Here's Merritt, little shovel out to Zaharakis. High footy, players converging, big pack rises up over the top. McKenna, bounce got him, spills to Parrish off one step, banged it forward, good ball. One-handed mark, almost taken by the big fella bait. Bell Chambers not quite reeled in. Garner now under pressure, shoveled out the handball. So North Melbourne momentarily out of trouble. Got to find a target here, they do. Jared Waite takes it inside defensive 50, but... Very little to go to now. Najak Dor has just spread oh. and then drops a simple mark. <laughs> Out of play. And that's not the result he or North Melbourne wanted. So he's going to have to come back and contest the ruck now. About yeah, 75 from home. And no ruckman against Madge, so he's able to just bring it to ground in front of Trent Dumont. Merritt went and got it. Ball touched off the boot. 
Gibson gets a hand to it. It gets to the back somehow. Here's Zaharakis from 55. Good looking ball. Zaharakis hits the post. They're just hanging on here north. I reckon the Essendon Footy Club are about two minutes away from busting this wide open. 22 points. Yep. 22 up. How's that other game gash going, Gash? It's uh, Melbourne by 29 over Port Adelaide nearing three quarter time. Okay, <laughs> Garner. <laughs> Yeah, I know he's we been called there. a lot of things. Actually, not sure you've ever put a G in front of it, Bristol. What did I call you? Uh, <laughs> Doesn't gash. matter. Gash. Gash. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's unusual, <laughs> uh, to say the least. I'm not sure what I was thinking of. Anyway, ball deep inside 50. Here's Big Ben Brown over the back way. Couldn't get it. Hurley, nice defensive mark. Oh, wow. And out wide to uh, Danaher. Let's go back to the gasher. What was that score? It's um, Melbourne by 29 points over Port Adelaide BT. Kick out of play. That was sloppy by Joe there. Yeah. And it's going to be brought back in by you guys Andrew miss Swallow. Misheard. I don't think I did say that. He did actually said it twice, Bristol. Here's Dumont. <laughs> Inside 50 ball for Brown. It's going to get to the back. Jared Waite, dangerous. He always makes these things far harder than they should be, but he kicked it in the end. Sold about five bits of candy. He's got four, and North somehow find a way to hang in. 14 7 91, 16 11, 107, Triple M, Red Z lending scoreboard. Nowhere near over yet, Brownie. It is, it is still game on, and the Kangaroos, well, the Bombers have had a, a recent history of letting these games slip. They've been sloppy in the last little minute. That was a really sloppy kick from Joe Danaher. Had plenty of time to to kick the ball down the line and just on his back foot kicked it out on the full. He's good candy by Jared mm. White, though. Talk us through the history. Duck just mentioned it, the Bombers uh, with uh, close games, Ash. Yeah, very recent as well. Of course, they lost to uh, the Swans by one point and Brisbane at Eddie Hat here by only uh, by eight points. Okay, Danaher, look at the palm down in the middle beautifully to Myers, who got the clearing handball to Merit. Merit to Raziel Fantasia. He goes long and deep and high. Laverde there, couldn't hold the mark, trying to reel it in one hand. Thompson held up in the tackle, and just while he's down there, he grabs hold of him a head as well and yep. smothered us in the dirt. And just annoys people, Thompson. Ball up. Does. Likes hurting people. Just with little elbows and knees and, as yeah. you say, bristle face rubs. Yep. Ball thrown up. Big moments here for the Bombers. Can they convert this forward 50 stoppage into a score? They'll get another one. Ball up about 20 out from the Bombers' goal. We have got 10 minutes left. 10 and a half minutes, in fact, so plenty of time. Momentum, though, with Essendon. Here's Laverde in the pocket. Mullet with him. Handball back. Here's Stewart taking in a very good tackle. And he walks out of play. The ball's going to be thrown in. And as we look on the Chemist Warehouse replay screen... Yes, uh, discover the new David Beckham fragrance. Respect at Chemist Warehouse, the real house of fragrances. Went to Chemist Warehouse this morning. Just uh, got some Rexona. Nice. There's a jar short. Opportunity here. A little one outside. Just in Brunswick Street, uh, Fitzroy, they were JB. So Mario and the boys. They're everywhere. Yep. Absolutely everywhere. Best the prices Wells. always. Guaranteed big brands. Here's the kick into Hooker, and Hooker takes the mark. And crowd wanting 50, and they're talking umpire Lee Fisher into it. So this will mean that Hooker will kick from the goal line. Yeah, the young fella, he's copped it from Hooker the last couple of times. He's kicked goals and he took another mark in front of him. He just had enough. Gave Hooker a big shove from behind. And Hooker, as soon as he felt the contact, jumped forward. All he's got to do is get it over the man on the mark. He does that. He kicks number five. And that might just about be it. Maybe not. 22-point margin here. And we've still got 10 minutes left in the game on the Red Z Lemming scoreboard. Been a pretty good game by uh, Hooker. 18 possessions, 9 marks, 5 goals. It's an equal PB. I've always said that uh, if you have 20 posies and kick 5, that's like having 40-plus possessions for a midfielder. So just in this quarter, it's a North Melbourne getting smashed in the clearances. 9 to zip bombers way inside 50s, 12 to 3 for Bosch Talk. Two men's uh, little uh, yeah, pieces right. of paper are gone everywhere yeah, because we're two. squished in up here. We spoke about... Oh, that Brian's got his space. Oh, boy. Half-time duck. The clearance battle has been clearly won by this Essendon footy clubbers. Yeah, look at this again. Yeah. Just a couple of big outs for North. Zeeble one and Tarrant the other and the haven't got the players to cover it, sadly. Merritt's handball really good. Here comes the Arras. A little bit of candy sold. Off to Parrish. Straighten up. Bomber's got another one. Coming home nice and strong in this final term. It's now five goals to two. Parrish kicks it.
18 11 119 to 14 7 91 triple m red z landing scoreboard third and inside 50s to throw in this last quarter as clean and as sharp and as brilliant as this was duck i get really nervous when i see joe danaher take the ruck jewels he's a look he's a ferrari and i don't think you put a ferrari in where a ferrari's going to get hurt you leave him in the back end it's a totally. dangerous dangerous thing to play in the ruck i don't like it totally agree don't send a ferrari to plow a field and oh, well boy ducks gone with that one a few times <laughs> for mcdonald's mcdonald's mccafe sitting eighth position on the ladder at the moment percentage of 109 keeps them out sydney with a game in hand on the same number of points cunnington to push off on heppel handball to clark throw said umpire troy pennell free kick heppel in the eye did a little of eddie had stadium now a pounding left football deep hook and probably being held there but a nice mark taken in the defense by the kangaroos and mountford goes sideways swallow has a bounce wants someone to come at him eventually it's clark who does and then clark runs himself into all sorts of trouble holding the ball indecision Meyer's going to take the free just outside 50. He's a big roost, this boy. Hooker's just walking off the ground, not even looking at the play. He saw, he's done his calf or something by the looks, has he? Has he? He's, no, it's no, cramp. cramping. cramping it, yep. So in Meyer the, will take a real good roost from here. He's a long way from home. It's going to land in the square. Collier with a big fly. <laughs> Scotty Thompson took an uncontested mark in the end. And he will distribute long and straight. Risks need to be taken here. Well done, McGrath, to stay with Atley. Player on the ground. Well done, Jamont, to pick it up, though. Distributes by hand to Majak Door. Now Garner. Going the wrong way, though, the Kangaroos. Garner wants to draw Collier. He then goes wide with the kick, and it's out in the full. No. Touched over. So it'll be a boundary throw in. Down to you, Nez. It's just cramped down here. He's uh, had a little bit of a, an energy drink and stretching out, so it should be fine. It's just his right right calf severe cramp. 40,359, I think I said about 39 or so, so six or 700 off. There's Heppel, square to the handball to Collier. Collier to Merritt, Merritt out the back door, conceding ground to find space and a target in Gleeson. Hurley points to the middle, and he goes there now, Gleeson, once the space opened up to Hartley. So Hartley at true centre-half back. Little chip kick to Bagley in the middle. He dived and lunged, got the handball to Zaharakis. Zaharakis back to Bagley onto Hartley. A straightening kick from Hartley through the hands of a Razi old Fantasia. Now the ball hits the deck. North Melbourne run over the top of it. Picked up by Laverde. Gave it to Stewart. Stewart to McDonald. Tip and Woody. Tip and Woody with a party trick to Razio. Got caught, did razzle dazzle. And now the Kangaroos march out of the defence. Williams short to Simkin. Simkin, no one to advance the footy to, so he's got to. Goes sideways, Majak Door takes it, has a bounce, wants to go by hand, does so to Higgins. They work that out pretty well. Here's Atley. The only target he's got is Brown Long. Needs to go there. Hurley with him. It's been a mighty game of footy, Ben Brown. He's taken another contested mark inside 50. If he kicks this, it's number six. Not often Hurley gets his colours lowered this year. I, I can't remember a game where he's got off the chain and a player has kicked multiple goals on him. Ben Brown's having a big afternoon. Yeah, he didn't start on him. Didn't start on him, but uh, has finished up on him, Brownie. This will be the toughest shot he'll have, Benny Brown. He's right up against the fence, right forward pocket. Have to work it left to right, you sense. Can't kick it because he can't go back far enough. No. Exactly. No. Here he goes for number six. The big number 50. Kick on the way. Is across the face and a behind. 14-8, 92 to 18-11-119. Triple M, Red Z lending scoreboard. Very difficult kick indeed. That one from Benny Brown. Just watching the guys down here in the front rows. And when it's nearly the end of the game and you've got to stand up in your seats to let a guy through to the middle chairs. Mm. Very upsetting Annoying. at this stage. Uh, you've had a few and uh, you're just about fed up. Your team's losing. And some guy wants you <laughs> all to stand up because he's gone and got a beer and wants his real seat back rather than one of 600 he could have taken. <laughs> Short ball, McGrath, marks. So just running a bit of TikTok off the clock now. Six minutes left in this game here as the Bombers go out wide to Danaher. Off hands, little handball out wide to McDonald, Tip and Woody. He's uh, been penalised and North allowed to go to boot of Gibson. Short one got it to Garner, the run of Atley, impressive. Atley pointed the square half for to Brown on the lead. This time Hurley got there, closed him down, knocked the ball away, picked up by the Bombers. Hurley keeps running and delivers the ball very wide, so wide. 
that in front of the National Tree Day signs out there, he kicks it out of bounds. Ben Cunnington to bring it back in. Bombers in control, 119 for 92. But I reckon if you're a North Melbourne fan of this game, with who they've got out there, you wouldn't be overly unhappy. Ball over the back, Collier gets it into the hands of Merritt. Merritt's a very, very good player. Look at that beautiful kick. Bell Chambers dropped what he should have taken. Higgins goes and gets it. He gets taken three times in a tackle, and Bagley brings him to ground holding the ball. He's tried to bring that footy into the ground, in the middle of the ground a couple of times today, Merritt. I love the way he goes after it. He's not yep. turned down by the fact that he's missed a couple. No, and he's really good, but do you sometimes think he goes for too much? Get a comment on you that in a moment, Brownie. Liberto gave the ball up here. North are going to go and get it, and they do very nicely indeed. And they go forward here off the boot of Swallow. Swallow deep inside, 50 pounds. Just puts the Dukes up and marks in front of Hurley. 35 out and he'll have a set shot. Wait says, hurry up, mate. We haven't got a lot of time. What do you think about that, Brandy? Does he sometimes just try and create too much? He does. He does. I'll, I'll agree with that. He does. But I like the fact that he continues to try and do it and he's not turned down by the fact that he might miss one. One of the reasons why they can play so quick, guys like him. Now, Brown has not taken his normal amount of time, understanding the game situation here, which is beyond north, but good on him for trying. 25 metres out, Brown, that's through, no problems. A little bit Jeez. of left to right finish on it, and he has kicked six. Six for Benny Brown today is an extraordinary effort. 18-11, 119 the Bombers to North Melbourne, 15-8. 98 Red Z Lenning scoreboard. Especially Duck, as Nath said, the player he's playing on, even if it isn't for the whole game, Michael Hurley, everyone's got in their All-Australian team. That's a sixth goal. Yeah, it's a good effort. How many marks and how many of those have been contested? Yeah, he's taken nine marks, five of those contested, Duck. Five? Yep. Jeez, that's a good effort, five contested marks. <laughs> 21. <laughs> 21 <laughs> points the margin. <laughs> We've what, got, we've got, your, what's your record? <laughs> we've got Bristle talking Coleman. We've got Duck talking contested marks. No, it's another I did, resume I did, off I did, in the Triple M box. I didn't mention anything. I just, oh, it's, it's, it's two board. weeks on a road, JV. I oh, know. I'm hearing it. Goddard out wide. Clark pursues him. Goddard running the wrong way. Handball to Zaharakis. Now Heppel. Quick response here from the uh, Bombers. Heppel long inside 50. A bit of a wrestle. In front of goal, no free kick paid. Joe Danaher has it held to him, and the ball will be thrown up. Holding each other, you heard the umpire say there. Footscray VFL played today. Matty Boyd for Dogs fans, 36 touches today, good form. Cloak kick three, by the way. He'll be back, and he'll play a part in the Dogs' outfit towards the end of the year, make no mistake. And we'll have a boundary throw I was in. just uh, talking to the producer. Were you talking to me? Deep for the bombs. Just saying, Cloak kick three in the VFL today, Duck. Oh, boy. So a boundary throw in. I think he'll be back very, very soon. Dano, Let's beautiful. hope he is. Palm down to Parrish on a Zaharakis. Snaps on a goal. No problems. Time to enjoy here. Zaharakis kicks the goal for the Bombers. And they've had a good last quarter, Ash. They've kicked, I think, six goals to three in this last quarter. Exactly right. 19-11-125 to North Melbourne. 15-8-98 on the Triple M Red Z lending scoreboard. And, of course, the uh, boss stats, boss connected range, Ash. Good, better boss. Who's been the leading stats getters today? Uh, 33 to merit, but a couple of PBs for North Melbourne with their youngsters. Uh, Dumont, 27 disposals and a major. And Taylor Garner, 24 touches, 10 marks, 7 tackles and a goal. Career high for him as well. Goals from stoppages. They've been owned in the clearance sense today. North by the Bombers. And there was another one. as Door, Bell Chambers. Cunnington goes out and tracks the footy and then gets taken high by Apple. No free there. Through comes Watson. Slapped forward for Parrish. Parrish high inside forward 50. One out is Durden and that's a free kick. Is going to Stewart. And Stewart's about yeah, 30 out. 40, 25 out. Tightish angle. Late stages. Bomber's going to win it. No man watching this game, I reckon, Bristol, angrier than Robbie Tarrant for two reasons. One, mm. because the tall forwards have got hold of North. And Cale Hooker rubbing the head of a second gamer. Yeah. Robbie Tarrant would want to be out there just to make sure that uh, he could deal with that personally. And he can't because he's sitting in the stand. This is young Stewart. Good player, as Brian says. And this will be his third really important cog in this Essendon wheel. Set shot, right forward pocket to extend this bomber lead. And it is across the face, I reckon, of behind. 19-12, 126, 15-8, 98. 
late stages, three minutes left. Triple M Red Z landing scoreboard. Chad Wingard back on the ground for Port, we believe. Near map, aerial imagery, Ash. And the margin's only 16 points in favour of Melbourne BT, five into the final quarter. So it's a 28 point margin here, Ash. Yep. And uh, the mark has been taken by Heppel. His kick back inside wasn't as good as what it should have been to Merritt Gibson. Plucks the handball off. North Melbourne missed with the third handball in that passenger play. That allows uh, Essendon to come from everywhere. It's going to be all the Bombers. Bombers are going to run out victors, but uh, North played three quarters of really good footy here today. Handball from Simpkin. Very, very wide indeed. Mm. Now Mullet looking for it, and there it is, the turnover kick. And look at the Bombers arrive here on Mass at half-back early. Shovel the handball wide, found, I think, Zaharakis. Yep. Gave it back to Hurley, and Hurley's kicks a good one to Goddard on the wing. BJ's numbers, Ash. 24 touches. And then he goes back again inside defensive 50. Here's Gleeson. Yep. They're going to be in the eight, I reckon, Ash, aren't they, at the end of this game? Yeah. The Bombers? The spot on on the live ladder, JB. Currently inside the eight. So here's little Zaka. Just taking as much time as he needs and then a sideways kick to Hurley. Can they go outside the eight this round, Ash, from other results or do they stay in? They certainly can. They need two results to go their way. It's either Colling Collingwood to defeat West Coast, Sydney to defeat St Kilda, and the other one is Port to defeat Melbourne. If two out of three go their way, they're inside the eight come completion Minute this round. 50 left as Thompson flies from the front, unable to take the mark. Joe Danaher picked it up. The left foot snap from Danaher is going through. So late joy for the Bombers, got a couple. And it's now 132.98 on the Triple M Red Z lending scoreboard. Hates a handball, Joe Danner, doesn't he? He's uh, an instinctive player, and when he plays instinctively like this, he generally does the right thing. He picked that up really quickly, had a couple of players that he possibly could have given it to on the outside, but when you can finish like that instinctively like he does, he's a very, very big weapon to have. Uh, Duck, uh, Wingard, you've been watching him. What's happening with him? We had yeah. a knee issue with him? No, he had ice on his uh, ankle, okay. BT. So uh, not sure how serious it is, but uh, he'll most certainly play no further part. Seven, seven goal last quarter here for the Bombers. 34-point victors. Heppel, Danaher, Hooker, and there was one other. Kelly, four of the older statesmen in this team, I guess you'd say, or the more important players. Let's put it that way. All sitting on the bench here at the moment. With just a couple of minutes left in the quarter. We'll go back to the middle of the ground here now. And play Craig Fleer will ball it up. Mad Jack does the ruck work. Watson with the takeaway. And their clearances today that absolutely oh. killed him, the Bombers. Thompson at centre-half back marks nicely. He comes to the back. Atley will use the wheels. He should take all this space and kick a goal, Sean Atley. He takes all the space and kicks a point. Pulled it to the left. Poor finish. 15-9-99. 20-12-132. We've got a minute 10 left. And the restart will be a short one to Hurley in the pocket. Bombers have done a good job the clearances today. 50 to 26. So a big pat on the back again to Big Belcho. And this kick in's no good. Straight to Waite. He thought about going. He should have been called to go. He's about 50 from home. Jared Waite has kicked four himself. They would have been happy, I reckon, at match committee when they heard Goldstein and Zebul were out. He goes for a banana. He goes for a torpy. It's going to land all right. It's marked, I reckon, by Andrew Swallow, top of the square. It was a mung, a floating, horrible attempted torp from Jared Waite. And Andrew Swallow is going to go back and kick from about 10 metres out directly in front. And kick North Melbourne's 16th goal. We've got 24 seconds left, so a late consolation one to Swallow. It goes through. He's been far from North Melbourne's worst today. 16-9, 105. 2012-132, Triple M Red Z landing scoreboard. It's probably been one of the better games I've seen Swallow play so far this year. I mean, he's only had the 20 disposals, but contested wise, 13, and he was one of the major reasons why they were in the game for three quarters. Now, Duck and uh, Brownie, you both said it was going to be a shootout. It's been exactly that, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it has. It's been a good game of footy. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of defence in it, but it's gone end to end. And uh, 36 goals kicked. Yeah. It's always, it's always good when you get a lot of goals, Brownie. 36, was it, Brownie? 36. Yeah, well, that's a right. shootout. <laughs> uh, 27 point margin here. Up when Majak, we've got just a few seconds left in this one. They're going to record their ninth victory of the year. As says the Bombers are in the eight. A few things to go their way, and they'll stay there if that happens in this round of footy. Zaharakis at half back, and it was a slow starting Bombers today, but they got it going. And 
And eventually they got up to win by 27 points. 20 goals, 12, 132 to 16, 9, 105. Let's hear the song. To win the premiership all right, we need to get the votes. We can't actually hear the whole song. Apologies, Bombers fans, because we've got a timeout in about 40 seconds. Duck, who yeah, are the best? Yeah, I gave one vote to Heppel. I thought he was sensational. Two votes to Big Ben Brown. Beautiful. And three votes to the match winner in the last quarter, Hooker. All right, for McDonald's, McCafe. Make sure you check that out on your way home. On a beautiful Saturday afternoon, we're going to the Gold Coast match against the Western Bulldogs. But it's been a ripper here. Well done to the Bombers. 27 points. North Melbourne are lots alike. Seven players who have played less than 10 games. Their future looks bright. And I know I'm biased, but I don't give a stuff. We're getting... Uh, thanks, Bristol. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Duck. And thanks to the guys down on the boundary and Ash. For McDonald's, Triple M Rocks, Saturday afternoon footy. This quarter was brought to you by Red Z, Lending solutions for the self-employed. For McDonald's, Triple M Rocks footy.